about the report you, you also for the Open Society Foundation. In uh, the first part of the report, uh, what we're trying to explain is what has happened in Catalonia with the uh, development of the harm reduction strategies, because in the um, late uh, 80s or during the 80s, we had a huge, uh, what they call epidemic of heroin consumption. And also, it, uh, as you know, it, it came with the HIV uh, issue also. Civil society was the first to react because they, were, they saw that the, the young people were dying. So this pushed the um, city halls to, to begin to implement some kind of uh, assistance for these people. The political groups decide to not make drugs uh, a weapon to discuss about, uh, among them. So all the drug issues would not be on the first pages of uh, newspapers or would not be used to attack the, the rivals. And all the decisions would be decided by consensus among all the political parties. So this has uh, led in Barcelona and in Catalonia to develop an approach very sensitive. Catalonia was the first region in Spain implementing the methadone programs and in the 90s and also the needle exchange programs, also trying to implement needle exchange programs in prisons which has not been done successfully but they took some risk. Uh, society always uh, was in favor of developing this sensitive approach. 15 years after, nowadays what we have is one consumption, drug consumption room in each district of uh, the city of Barcelona. This is 10 consumption rooms and also in two other cities. So nowadays I think we have really uh, some interesting experience to, to share and to inspire or other regions or other um, uh, groups that want to develop similar approach. And nowadays the um, population that consumes uh, drugs, uh, injecting drugs, has stabilized and reduced. It's not, nothing comparable with what had happened 20 years ago. In the moment that methadone programs and string, needle, needle exchange programs began, all the infections uh, fall down dramatically. What are the benefits of having uh, drug consumption rooms in Barcelona? The first uh, benefit is for the drug users because they are treated as persons. They can go for many hours to open places where they are well received and well treated. And uh, this uh, helps to have a more uh, healthy society because people has not to hide, has not to shut themselves in uh, ugly places or uh, close to places that you don't want them to, to inject, like uh, places where there are minors in that, in that sense. They live with less stigma and uh, best, best healthcare. And uh, yeah, people live drugs in a more normalized way, which is finally at the end what I think it has to be done. No? I think for me, Drug policy at the end is not about drugs, it's about uh, more healthy societies and in that sense if you, you bet for more inclusive politics you have a better result. How well is the relationship between these consumption rooms and the treatment facilities so people if they want to stop drug use can they go to treatment from the consumption room? The idea of the harm reduction strategy in a complete view, in a global view, is exactly this. To offer them as much possibilities as they, as they can, because if they are ready and they want, they can make the first steps. What do the people who live in the neighborhood of this uh, program think about these programs? Are they hostile, they have negative or positive attitudes to these programs? Historically, there had, had been two, the three first consumption rooms, they the neighborhood was really against that. The political decisions have been done with consensus. So this was good because the political parties, they decide, okay, we, want, we will defend the consumption rooms. We, are, we will explain to the neighborhoods why this is good for the neighborhoods and for the city. But uh, there was a huge reaction against one of the consumption rooms. Imagine uh, neighbors during one year and a half one day per week, they go to the street and they cut one of the main roads uh, where the cars are in Barcelona. So it collapses the city, the, the north part of the city. With the political consensus, they keep uh, explaining why this is good, the benefits, and at the end, this fear in neighborhood absolutely disappears. And it has not happened in the other 10 consensus rooms that had opened in the city. At the end, now we have uh, 10 consensus rooms and 
no one complains about that. Mm -hmm.